Hello. Oh, here's a motherboard of a socket 1155. That's a P8H61-M Pro slash CM6630 slash DP underscore MB. Uh, I'm going to try Haiku OS and the hardware will be this motherboard because I went to their website and the, they have a few uh, working uh, gigabyte network systems, uh, chipset and audio will work on here. This motherboard is certified to work on them so we're going to see how well Haiku out of the box will install and see if it works right out of the box. First, I gotta put this in the case and CPU is not gonna be an i7, I think 2400K, but we will look in the BIOS later, all that good stuff for the information. And I will be using a, uh, instead of a SATA drive, because the only thing I have left is an old fashioned hard drive. But I wanna use, um, let's see here, where did I put it? But no, it's like an adapter for a piece uh, M.2 NV, NVMe uh, adapter to a PCIe X1 slot. I know that it will not read very fast, but fast enough where the operation system will work. I just pulled out if I need to add information or files to it for my, my modern computer. So hopefully it works out good. I got this for $18 and some change off eBay. HDMI port, uh, audio 3.0 jacks, USB, PCI Express 16, PCI slot case. I got, I got my Sound Blaster Audigy, no, yeah, Audigy Z2. Uh, works with Windows 98, so it should work in here pretty good if I decide to use it. But that would probably be later. I want to see if it all works out of the box first. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. All right, I want to show you this. I forgot the cooler on. I'm going to use these Viper Extreme by Patriot. 1866 megahertz. 911-9-27. 8 gigabyte kit. For dual channel mode and it has a copper block built inside back in the day you just be awesome got these for just eight bucks uh like five years ago yeah got this copper fan got the bracket okay all right that's all i want to show you real quick all right continue to to put everything into a case all right It's in the case, 450 watt power supply, uh, power man. The cooler, there's the MME dot adapter. A piece of express one. Okay, let's see it powered on, see if it works. If not, all right, wish me luck. Okay, to update, uh, we got the IQ going on the i7-2600K um, NVMe drive. You found it on the, on the cheap adapter on the PC Express X1. I had to use a um, HP Radeon, I'm not, I'm not for sure what it is, like a $20 cheap graphics card came out of HP build. Um, I think it's called, it's like an M690, R9690M or something like that. But yeah, at first I'm going to have to partition the uh, drive. See, it's NVMe 0.raw NT file system, but I have to 119 gigabytes. Yeah, but I got to uh, partition it the, for the uh, IQ OS to work on it. So yeah, I found it. So that's good. Uh, I will keep you updated. The update. I finally got it going. 
failing to update download the packages but i had to use a hard drive because i forgot the old older motherboards cannot boot from a M M N V M E drive because uh, they don't have the capability you have to <clears throat> mod the bios or some kind of uh, soft mod but i went ahead and just threw a old school hard drive in it's moving pretty quick the i7 2600k it has five gigs because this other memory stick it was paired with is it's dead so it's no good so i got five gigs because i found one gigabyte ddr3 go with the four gigs so yeah it's, i found the internet on automatically and the sound i have not tested yet but it has a sound volume bar up here out it works out of the box and for an uh, video you can't use the output video because they don't work so i had i, I had used the hp 20 dollar 22 dollar graphics card from the hp machine uh it, yeah that's what's running on right now just a low budget card but um i'm not for sure what model it is so yeah so so far so good nightmare before christmas off of my external hard drive it was formatted for, for NTFS, or in it. and also got a FAT32. You can see I can mount, see it mount partitions, and yeah. So that's working. Video works really nice. That's the MP4 on 1080p Blu-ray. Uh, right out of the box, smooth. Uh, these are my personal files, like Windows 10, like I make and stuff like that. Uh, I thought I have music on here somewhere, but I guess not. Portable browser software, like Audacity and stuff like that. Okay, I thought I'd uh, tell you about the coolness of this. So far, it's working really good. Okay, I just downloaded the Falcon, and I got this video set to 1080p 60 frames per second and see how good it goes <laughs> Also, FLAC music works with it, uh, 1080p Blu-ray rips uh, work with it, MP4s, uh, MP3 works great, uh, real smooth, no problems. Also, if you have a, you make your own, like, you know, DVD I, uh, ISOs to burn on DVD disc, you can play the BOBs on them, BOB files will work on it. And, yep, yeah, everything's working really good. Internet working real nice. Um, let me test out the internet, see how fast it is. Using this Xfinity speed test, see how fast we can go. This is built on on board one gigabit on on the internet on the on the board native. Ninety-two point four megabytes for speed. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, we'll try three D acceleration. I found this thing called Ripple.com. We're going to start the benchmark test.
Your browser does not support WebGL. Total score is 993. So not bad at all. So it does have acceleration with the graphics cards. Um, I don't know what the model it is still. Uh, we'll have to take a look. I changed the wallpaper. I just found a free high, high definition image. It makes it real nice. This is your, just your taskbar in the corner. Just a simple little taskbar. Uh, very nice. I like it. I, I use, I'm using Falcon for the uh, default browser. It has almost all my applications I use, like I use on my Windows. Let me see here now. Do, 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 do. And I use and I found I used the Windows 10 Dark theme from Falcon. Whoops. Hold on. There we go. And I added the uh, background uh, image. I found another one to free on offline. I gotta figure out how to not have these, uh, it's called speed dial where you, it keeps your information where you went to, the locations. I kinda don't like that. I kinda like just a, a basic, simple picture. Yeah, that looks very nice with the setup. Feels like it's all your original personal stuff. Like you're not forced to uh, use their applications or you lock down to a certain application. It's real smooth, real uh, fast. Uh, and there's some bugs that still need to be worked out. Sometimes the internet goes off and on randomly. I'm not for sure that's the internet connection or the board. It's probably just a few bugs. Sometimes you unplug the USB port, it goes off. Uh, but yeah, it has a graphic a acceleration speed. So the video card in this thing is doing what it's supposed to. See here, we've got demos, like little teapot things. Let's go look. Yeah, Let's see here. One teapot is 400 and almost, yeah. Let's see here, add teapot. Let's add 12. This is a hard drive, by the way. 15 year old Seagate hard drive, 250 gigabytes, 7200 RPM, less than four megs of cache, I think it is. Okay. Still going up about 60. The teapots, lost count. But yeah, uh, yeah, the video card's doing what it's supposed to, though. I'm gonna try a Wi-Fi card. It's an M.2. I got an adapter. It's a Intel 7265 70, or something like that. And well, I'll give an update if that works or not. I'll, I'll leave the box and uh, or not. But yeah, I like I like how the basic design, very very slim. This is only one at one and a half gigabytes on the disk. So the whole operation is one and a half gigs three applications. I got my music, uh, the internet, and the sound works out of the box. The video card you have to add because the video on the CP chip does not work. But that's okay. Uh, I mean, it works. All, it's on hardware, actual hardware. Working. And you can't even tell this is an old school hard drive either. You think it's on like a, like a cheap salt state drive or something. All right, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Y'all have a good day. All right, the Wi-Fi card does work automatically out of the box. It's a uh, Intel 
7260 with a cheap $10 Wi-Fi adapter to P PCI X1 and uh, it's not very good at reception because I live in the basement so if it was upstairs it would get solid connection so I have a wireless and wired internet now and I want to show you the graphics card, see if I can boot into a Heron's, Sergi Heron's boot disk so I can check it. Uh, all right. All right, the graphics card is a AMD Radeon R9 M360. That works on HiQ OS. And my gra my wireless card is you're running as a 7260, I think it is, but uh, see here, network. It's actually a wireless band AC 7265, but its drivers is loaded as 7260 instead of 7265. So uh, that kind of works pretty well, but uh, still need a little, I think the right drivers if, if, you, if they could, but it works okay how it is. So we got those take care of. The Radeon card works right out of the box. So does the Wi-Fi card and onboard internet and audio. I'm just double checking because that way I can uh, get the right information down. Okay, all right, talk to you guys later.